cubán, cubán. Uy, me sigue matando cubán. Sepa con sal, sepa con sal. Hey, what's up, everyone? This is Jerry from the StogieReview.com bringing you another video cigar review. And today, tonight, actually, I'm bringing you a, a cigar that uh, you probably never heard of. I know I had it until uh, a very generous brother, Leaf, took the time to send me a nice little care package. Um, but uh, unless you're from Europe or Portugal, you probably never heard of the Vasco. Uh, I guess it helps if I turn it right side up there. The Vasco de Gama. Uh, this came by way of a good, a new, a new good brother, Leaf, new good friend in New Jersey, uh, Carlos, who uh, who had watched a lot of my uh, two of my uh, uh, video reviews of uh, of my Filipino cigars and thought it'd be pretty cool to. Uh, to see what I thought of cigars from his home country of Portugal. So, uh, Carlos, I really appreciate you taking the time to uh, disseminate this great package. Uh, not only did he send me uh, a couple of these, a uh, couple different cigars from Portugal, but uh, an assortment of other of other cigars out there. And the one thing I love that what Carlos did uh, that many people don't do when they, regardless of whether they gift me cigars or or trade cigars or what have you, is a uh, uh, he sent me a, a pair of cigars to try, a pair of each cigar to try, which was, ex with concerning some of the cigars he sent me were extremely, extremely generous. So, uh, Carlos, now that I have your address, uh, look out for a package in the next coming days, next week or so, uh, reciprocating the generosity. I really, really appreciate that. So, uh, I am going to get myself together. Um, we're going to come back, take a little short break, come back. And I'm going to fire up this Vasco de Gama, and uh, we'll talk a little bit about who Vasco de Gama was and uh, and what's else been going on with me the past week since my last review. So sit tight, stay tuned, I shall return. Alright, I am back, and I'm going to get ready to fire up this Vasco de Gama cigar. Now, <laughs> kind of interesting, I want to go clip, clip the end here, and... Uh, I, I guess uh, uh, Carlos in, indicates that these are machine made, so I didn't realize that they come pre-cut on the back end here. So one thing when I was researching uh, this brand of cigars, one thing they mentioned, and I have I've, I've tried this previously, not a lot of times, maybe once or twice with other cigars that come with the little cedar sleeve, is actually lighting this using the cedar sleeve to uh, to light the cigar. So I am gonna take the risk. I don't have a fire extinguisher here, so hopefully uh, I don't burn down the house. Uh, but uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and try that. I'm going to try lighting the, the cedar tree first and using that to, to uh, light my stove. Oh, God. Oh God! Uh, let's just put that in the ashtray and we'll let that burn. Uh, God! Well, as you can see, it's just gonna uh, keep on burning there inside my sticky ashtray that I got for Walt for Christmas. Thanks, Walt. It's uh, coming in handy as you can you can <coughs> as you can see. Okay, so. We know that's not a good idea to do it indoors. Whoa. Uh. Any minute now, you're going to hear my wife come in the background and be like, what the f are you doing in there? But, uh, so anyways, at least I got my Vasco <laughs> de Cabo lit. Uh, Lucky Carlos sent me too, so I could take a picture of the other one for the written portion of this review. All right, so we got my Vasco de Gama lit. Uh, kind of interesting there. Um, kind of lost my train of thought, but you know what? Let me uh, take a quick break. Uh, I'm gonna go dump out my stinky ashtray and uh, open a window here. Uh, and uh, <laughs> shit, I'll be back. All right, everyone. I am back. House is uh, still standing, and uh, wife has uh, 
settled down, windows open, so it's starting to air out in here. Uh, didn't uh, it seemed like it kind of lit up, took off that cedar wrap kind of took off faster than uh, any other cedar wrapper I've seen before. Uh, and uh, by the uh, smell that's left in the room, uh, maybe it wasn't actually cedar. I don't know. Uh, but I'm back. I'm smoking my Vasco de Gama Corona size that was gifted to me from Carlos over in New Jersey. Uh, and Carlos wrote in his in a, in a little letter with me that the that this cigar contains tobacco from Sumatra Java and Brazil. And I can tell you, it's a really, it's a really, it's got a little sweet taste to the uh, to the wrapper on the outside. You get a nice little sweet taste on your lips. But uh, for a draw, uh, I guess that's something common, and I mean, wouldn't something common in something machine made since you don't have to worry about too tight of a roll. Uh, you do get uh, a little bit of uh, a woody uh, uh, spiciness to it uh, as far as flavor wise uh, that I'm getting. Um, but I'm really enjoying the nice little sweet undertones it put, it's putting off on my lips and uh, inside my gums here when I, when I take, a, take a puff. Uh, so right, so far, um, I'm enjoying it. Uh, pretty strong white ash. Uh, even though it was pre-cut, I'm still getting little bits of uh, of loose tobacco in my mouth. It's a little bit annoying having to to pick off. Uh, especially, I know it's not very pleasant to see on on camera. <laughs> but uh, anyway, so who was Vasco de Gama? Uh, uh, I didn't know who he was, but uh, I must do. Uh, I must do. Uh, fell asleep that day. Let me bring up the wow, the wow. Look at me. Yeah, World of Warcraft Birdy Crusade came out, and I've been playing it. And I was about to say wow wiki, anyways. But let me bring up Wikipedia. Uh, who had a pretty good article on uh, Vasco de Gama. Vasco de Gama was a, a Portuguese explorer uh, who uh, was one of the first people to. Uh, uh, established the trade route between uh, between Europe and India and the Orient, uh, going <laughs> you know what that is uh, going south of Af south Af going through south Af through the uh, uh, Cape of Good Hope. You know the, the 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 route that Christopher Columbus wanted to avoid because it took so long and it was so dangerous, and so he told everybody the world's not flat. I'm going the other way, but uh, apparently Vasco da Gama was one of the the first people to establish that trade with the Far East, so, uh, hey, he's pretty famous, huh? I gotta tell you, uh, I'm, you know, I'm not very exper very much experienced with machine-made cigars, so I don't know, uh, uh, too much about it. I know here, you know, we all, all of us cigars, we started off smoking either, uh, Swisher Sweet cigars, or, or Backwoods, or Phillies, or, or whatever. I know mine. I started off smoking uh, in high school. In uh, uh, I'm uh, I'm 29 years old. Who cares what my parents think? But uh, back in high school, you know, everyone was smoking cigarettes and things like that. And I decided to be different. And uh, well, I would always smoke uh, backwood cigars. The the uh, uh, I think the vanilla flavored ones. Those are kick ass. Yeah. So. But it must have been years since I've had a a nice uh, uh, since I've had a machine made cigar. But uh, these are pretty good. I gotta tell you, uh, I was expecting something. Uh, I gotta be honest. I was expecting something pretty god awful. Uh, I wasn't expecting something uh, something that had a nice sweet uh, sweetness that put a nice sweetness on your lips and inside your mouth. But it also had a nice uh, 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 a spice, mild mild spice flavor. To it as well when you uh, when you uh, take a puff. Uh, so so far, I am definitely enjoying uh, this Vasco de Gama that Carlos sent me. Uh, I'm going to take a quick break. Uh, we'll come back. We'll talk a, a little about a, a little bit about what's going on with me, uh, Super Bowl predictions, and all that jazz. So uh, stay tuned, and I shall return. All right, I am back, and as you can see, I've been away for. A little bit, uh, smoking uh, my Vasco de Gama. Um, uh, once it got to the halfway point, the spiciness I was talking about earlier kind of uh, 
went away, and I'm left with kind of a deep woodsy flavor. Uh, I still got the sweet palate, but it's taking on more of a woodsy flavor. And as I start getting towards the end, towards the nub, uh, it's starting to get on a little, a little harshness. Maybe, uh, maybe this isn't one of those cigars that should be uh, smoked to the nub. It's maybe one of those cigars that all the good stuffs up front, and as you make your way back, the bad filler is there. But I'm still enjoying it. Uh, I'd definitely smoke it again. Um, uh, anyways, what else has been going on with me? Uh, Super Bowl, much to my disappointment, Peyton Manning and the Colts are in the Super Bowl. Hopefully they get thrashed by the Chicago Bears. Um, but knowing my luck, they probably won't, and everybody will be telling me, you don't know shit. But, uh, hey, good luck to both teams. It's glad, I'm, good, I'm glad to see uh, two African-American coaches for the first time in the Super Bowl. That's awesome. Um, so, uh, now we just gotta wait two weeks, so I got two weeks to, uh, to trash talk. Uh, what else? Uh, I wanna thank everyone out there for their, uh, warm wishes and, uh, uh, congratulations for, uh, me and my wife and our upcoming first child. So, uh, I'm amazed how, uh, all the responses I got from, uh, my last video about, uh, how to stay on time and, uh, keep your sanity. Uh, but my wife's doing well. Uh, we're getting out of the first trimester, so uh, hopefully her uh, morning sickness that happens at night will will start to get a little better, and uh, I won't feel so guilty and and helpless when she gets uh, when she gets sick. Uh, uh, that's a, that's about it, I guess. Going off me as far as new purchases, um, really haven't purchased all that much. Uh, I think the last purchase was maybe two weeks ago, and. Famous and famous is January catalog. They had that little uh, twenty pack Rocky Patel special. You got five uh, Cuban blend, five vintage nineties and ninety twos, and five. Uh, uh, what was the other one? He had the Cuban uh, Sungro and five Sungro. So uh, I think that was my last purchase, last big purchase. You know, other than uh, going to JR, my local JR cigars, and uh, having a single there during lunchtime. Uh, uh, you know, one cigar I did, I did try. It's new at JR. At new, it, my my store just got in. I know they've been on sale on uh, JRCigars.com for uh, for a while. It's the uh, uh, Ramon Alonis Reserve. Uh, beautiful, beautiful cigar. Beautiful white ash when you smoke it. Nice, uh, uh, nice. Uh, what's the word? Uh, nice floral aroma and taste to it. Fantastic, fantastic cigar. So. If you see that, give that a try. Uh, maybe uh, I'm gonna try and uh, pick up a few sticks here to review. Uh, maybe in a c upcoming upcoming weeks. Um, so I guess that's about it. Um, uh, sorry, you almost had to witness me burning down my house. <laughs> uh, uh, again, thank you to Carlos for uh, for sending me this Vasco de Gama. I I, I enjoyed it until it's, it, you could tell it started to go downhill. Around the around the halfway point, uh, I really enjoy the sweet the sweetness it puts on your palate. I enjoy the woody spiciness, and even when it got when it, the spiciness kind of subsided, and all you had was the woodiness, I even enjoyed that. But now that I'm getting to the last part of this, to the to the stick towards the nub, yeah, it's getting a little harsh. And I think maybe maybe that's not maybe it's just a characteristic of the cigar where I said earlier that you know it's better all the good stuffs up front and and not towards the back, anyways. But that's just my thought. Uh, Carlos, I'd love for you to, when this video gets posted online, I'd love for you to comment and let me know how I did, whether uh, this is my first time smoking it, so maybe uh, maybe I got the flavor profile all wrong. So, Carlos, or anyone else out there who's had the privilege of smoking a Vasco de Gama from Portugal, uh, you know, chime in, let us know. Let me know if uh, my experience was, uh, was the same, if I was dead off. <laughs> Which, as always... I'm a, I could always be wrong if my wife says. Oh no, my wife always says I'm always wrong. Man. So I say I could be wrong, but my wife says I am. Wrong. Anyways, let me stop babbling here and let you guys get on with your lives. Uh, so until next time, folks. Longer. Oui, parle français. Voy a trabajar. Oui, parle français. Hay que cosechar. Oui, parle français. Para alimentar. Oui, parle français. Oui, parle français. Oui, parle français. Dime la salón vivo en mon ciel. Bonsoir.